Hello everyone, how's it going? I am Mabest and welcome to my channel. In this video I will try to talk about design of unreinforced concrete beam. For this example we have a beam with a span of 4 meters and a cross section of 400 millimeters by 600 millimeters with a compressive strength of 25 megapascals and we are trying to find the maximum applicable distributed load without letting the member fail. When the load is apply to the member then it will deflect under the applied load and the bottom of the concrete beam will be in tension and the top will be in compression. The compressive strength of the concrete is given as 25 megapascal and the tensile strength of the concrete we, uh, we should find. Usually the tensile strength of the concrete is about 10 to 15 percent of the compressive strength work. So it will be the controlling value in this case because the concrete is weak in tension but strong in compression. So we can use two approaches of ACI code and, and Euro code. The ACI code gives the modulus of rupture or tensile strength of concrete in bending as 0.62 square root of uh, F prime C. This gives 3.1 megapascal. And Eurocode provides the equation of FCTM equals to 0.3 FCK to the power of 2 third. FCK is again the compressive strength of the concrete and similar to F prime C. And this gives 2.56 megapascal. Now this is the tensile strength of the concrete, but to find the tensile strength of concrete in bending, so they have also provided another equation which says FCTM FL equals to maximum value of 1.6 minus height of the beam divided by 1000 multiplied by FCTM or FCTM, which one is higher? H of the beam is 600 millimeters in our case and putting it here this term will be 1 and then the, the value will be FCTM alone so again it will be 2.56 megapascals. Now we have found the tensile strength of the concrete in bending which will be the controlling value and we have the equation F equals to MC over I. Now C equals to h over 2 and the second moment of area equals to bh cube over 12. Now putting these values in this formula you can say f equals to 6m divided by bh squared. So we have the value of f, b and h and now we can find the value of m. So leaving m alone m equals to f b h squared divided by 6 which equals to 2.56 multiplied by 400 the width of the beam and the height 600 squared divided by 6 now this value will be in Newton millimeters, but I wanted that in, in kilonewton meters to reduce the zeros that I have, then it will be divided by 10 to the power of 6. So m equals to 61.44 kilonewton meter. Now, th from this value we can say m equals to wl squared by 8 again leaving w alone so w equals to 8m divided by l squared so 8 multiplied by 61.44 divided by l is 4 meters so it will be 4 squared 
we can get the value of w equals to 30.72 kilonewton per meter so that the beam can carry a, a, a amount of 30.72 kilonewton per meter as a distributed load without having any kind of reinforcement at the bottom of the beam now to be more precise we should also reduce the, the dead load of the beam so W of the beam equals to 24 kilonewton per meter cube multiply by 0.4 meter multiplied by 0.6 meter the dimensions of the beam it equals to 5.76 kilonewton per meter now we should subtract this this amount from 30.72 to have the net applicable or net allowed value of, of load on the beam so w let's say w net equals to 30.72 minus 5.76 which equals to approximately 25 kilonewton per meter so the beam that we have 25 kilonewton per meter can be applied to this beam uh, without letting it fail so thank you for watching my video please like and share my videos and subscribe my channel see you in the next video